celebration of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And uh, of course, the month of Elul is a time of introspection, and it's a time to prepare ourselves for the upcoming high holidays. I saw an amazing midrash yesterday that blew my mind. The midrash was talking about a verse in Kohelas, in Ecclesiastes, and the verse is discussing a tzaddik and a rasha, a righteous person and a wicked person. And it says that a tzaddik is destroyed, a righteous person is destroyed in his righteousness, and a wicked person lives long in his wickedness. And it seems to be the opposite. Of, it seems to be the opposite of what you would imagine. You would imagine that a tzaddik lives long because he's so righteous, and a wicked person lives short because he's so wicked. And here we see the opposite: that because the righteous is righteous, they die in their righteousness, and because the wicked is wicked, they live long. It seems the exact opposite. So the Mitras tells us something very fascinating. It says that the Almighty is desirous of our betterment. The Almighty wants the best for us. And therefore, if this righteous person, but the Almighty gets the sense that he may veer off course, he may, God forbid, have uh, recidivism, he may, God forbid, become a sinner, the Almighty says, okay, you know what? I'm going to preserve his purity and holiness, and I'm going to take him before his time, so to speak, to make sure he's preserved as a righteous person. Whereas the wicked person, the Almighty is always going to extend him more and more time, more and more latitude, more and more flexibility, because you know what? Maybe this wicked person will repent. But however, once someone has passed, repentance is too late. And the Midrash adds a wonderful story. It says there was a band of marauders, of criminals, of thieves, of bandits that were all incarcerated in prison. And one of the industrious prisoners dug a hole, dug a tunnel, and escaped. And there's this big gaping hole, and all the prisoners start escaping. But there's one guy who's like, yeah, I don't know, I'm scared. And yeah, the next morning, the guard comes, and he sees this huge hole in the wall, and all the prisoners that have escaped, and there's one individual who's still there. And he starts hitting him on the head. He says, what's wrong with you? You're in prison, you're incarcerated, you're in jail, and you could have escaped and you didn't escape. That's what the Midrash says. That is what the Almighty affords us. All of us, we may be trapped in the prison of our present self. We may be incarcerated in the way that we've been living hitherto. But the Almighty is going to open up for us a path forward. And that's called repentance. And that's the general theme of this month. Yes, we're not perfect. You know what? If we were perfect, we would have no reason to exist. We're not perfect. But the Almighty is always planning for us, scheming for us, and affording opportunities for us to get out of our plight and for us to reinvent ourselves every year. So that's the order of the day. It's L. It's a time of reinvention. The doors are open. The gates of heaven are wide open. And you know what? We're not perfect, but the Almighty is eager to allow us to improve, perfect ourselves, refine ourselves during this month. That's the focus. And it may be the will of the Almighty that we take full advantage of this wonderful month and indeed reinvent ourselves anew. Thank you for listening. All right, everybody. We're going to now blow the show for everyone and please rise. I'm just going to move back to the purpose of the clarity of the show for blowing. So hopefully this won't blow the, the All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, nine o'clock.